Hello, this is Timothy Perfit from Tukanu Software, and I want to show you how you can use the incremental imaging feature of WinClone 8 to be able to make sure your to quickly make sure that your WinClone images stay up to date with the uh, most current data that's on your bootcamp partition. Um, so the way that um, the uh, incremental works is that you first create a full image from your bootcamp partition, and then um, and then you set up the Win WinClone uh, incremental. Uh, cloning to on a schedule to automatically refresh that image. So first thing we'll do is I will create a WinClone image of my uh, bootcamp partition. So I'll select it. I have this Windows partition. You can see the partition side is size is almost 100 gigs, and the use space is a little bit little less or a little bit more than eight gigabytes. So I'll select that. I'll save this image and I'll call this my main Windows rig. And then I'll save that. And what that'll do is create a full image of the um, all the data that's on that bootcamp partition. Okay, the image has now been completed. So what we want to do is set up to incrementally update this uh, image. So the way we do that is if we go up to preferences inside of WinClone, you can select show incremental imaging menu item. So I'll select that. And I can go up to this incremental image and I can say configure. And what that does is um, allows me to set up what bootcamp uh, or what WinClone image I want to update as well as the partition. So let me select that one that I just created called main windows rig. And you can see it automatically detected the source bootcamp volume. So that's the bootcamp partition I did. If it, if it couldn't find that one, it would prompt you to select which one. But since it, know, it knew we made a backup to it or made a uh, clone to it, an image to it, it um, uh, is able to detect it. So now the next thing we need to do is do a schedule. And so we can set it up to do hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly. Um, and what's nice is down here, it tells you exactly when the next backup's uh, going to occur. So right now, I currently say starting on the 31st of, of October, I do it on the first Thursday. And you can see it's November 7th would be the first Thursday after that. Um, so if I wanted to do it hourly, I could say starting on uh, 10, uh, today's the second, 10-2 at 4 p.m. do it every five hours okay so now you can see that today it's going to do it uh, at, at four o'clock um, which would be the first backup that it does I can also do it daily if I want to repeat every day and say I want to do start um, at uh, 10 uh, 25 something like that so do repeat it every number of days um, we can also do it weekly which is uh, means that you can do it on any specific days of the month um, so we could say, or specific days of the week, sorry, if I want to do it um, every Monday at uh, 10 p.m. So we could do that as well. And you can have it repeat, so you can have it every third Monday, every third Monday and Wednesday, that kind of thing. And you can see the schedule up here uh, updates when you do that. Um, we could also do it every monthly. That's what I started on. So if we say starting on, start starting tomorrow, um, I want to do it on every first Saturday or the fourth Saturday. So you can see it updates the time here and be able to do it. And then it'll automatically make that incremental backup. So um, the uh, thing to be aware of as well, it always follows that schedule. So regardless if you do a manual backup or a, ma a manual image, it will still follow the schedule. So if I leave this up and I go up here and I sl um, select update image now, you can see that it uh, um, is starting to do the incremental one. If I go back to the menu, you can see it has this progress bar. And it won't change the schedule, so it won't push it off any. It can st still follow this. So it's a great way to just refresh it if some, some event happens and know that it won't uh, interrupt your schedule as it goes forward. So um, it's uh, it completed the backup. It was very fast because it's not uh, there's not very much data to be able to do it, so it's very quick. Um, the other thing, I wanna, let me update it again. You can see... Um, you can look at the icon up here. We added this in WinClone 8. It flashes now, so you're able to see it on and off to know that uh, it's actually running. Um, the uh, change between WinClone 7 and WinClone 8 is now this works completely in the background. I can quit regular WinClone. As long as this menu item is running, it'll still do those backups or those images uh, to, to refresh it. Um, the other new feature that we have in WinClone 8 for incremental backups is a log. So if I click on log, you can see that I can, I can see the log shows me all the information. And if I clear it and run this incremental again, 
um, you can see that the log will stop will start populating and so there it goes um, so you can see that's a live log the light to watch it you can copy and paste data or copy and uh, paste log lines from here to uh, to share if there's any issues or you know to, to assess but um, it's a, a logging is a really nice feature to be able to do that and there's also this clear log as well so that's incremental backups with the new scheduling feature. Um, if you if you want to restore the image, let me, let me cover that really fast. When you go to restore this image, so let me select this same source, main rig. You can see there's now a pull down menu. And you can see these are all my incremental backups that I did based on the time. So you can see uh, it says professional workstation because that was, uh, I originally created this from a, um, a win the Windows install media. So it used that name. Um, but the important part is the date. You can see these are all my incremental backups. So I can choose which date I wanted to do. So if I wanted to go back to maybe the one at 2.47 p.m., I just select the destination Windows and I can restore it. And so at any point, you can go back to any one of those incremental ones. And the incremental ones are based off of the original one, which was done at 2.41 p.m., which means the one at 2.47 was only the data between the original one and 247. The one at 248 is the difference between the one at 241 and 248. So it just, it, it uh, continually, or it, when it, on the schedule, it'll um, image everything different from the uh, original. All right, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.